guys, you're hearing it first, man. This is huge research, okay? Just pay, try your best just to stick around. I'm talking about a number of things. I'm going to show you some stuff over there that's just mind-blowing. See all this? See that white stuff coming out? See these cracking? Has nothing to do with why there should be a keyway there because that wouldn't have been the pore. The pore line was the whole wall. Um, there's another one. There's another one. You see the white stuff that comes out of it? Something starts to work with it. In some ways, they, uh, there's a, a filling of a grout, maybe, that they kind of just saliva tate up their cells. See this stuff? I've noticed on a few walls where the pocking like this, um, honeycombing, there's some moss contamination. Um, gets really bad. I think they start to realize, hey, pick, 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 and they pick, 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 and pick, 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 because it's just a lot of the powdery stuff from when they, um, of the cement product. So then they'll pick at that and stuff. But anyways, you see that rock there? All that rock is coming from up there. Like, not all of it, but I mean some of it. Like that one. And other ones like that are actually coming from the wall right there. Here we are now looking at the wall. And this is huge, guys. This is hugely drastic. I've talked about this a lot. I videotaped this corner a number of times. We, a quick calculation. It will be easy for anybody to realize all this breaking, any rock wall builders, any retaining wall concrete system people, anybody who works in grounds or anything like that will realize this doesn't look like a proper retaining system. There's something that looks wrong with this. And right now we're not even at the bad part, guys. Okay, so just hold on. Got time here, yeah. And we'll keep filming here as we walk it. It goes taller here. And there's a big building above it. And this is a this is a structural wall. So either the contractors who built it are should be liable for this falling apart. Or we gotta look a little deeper into it, guys. We gotta look a little deeper into it. Look at all that. And you know, I could go up to all of those pieces and probably with a little bit of shimming and a little bit of pulling and stuff, hold tons of amount. Look at that. How does this have proper structural integrity where that little vein of rock or whatever could shift in a way and make those shift and it just becomes a... Uh, an effect of uh, like an, a dominoes effect you realize that I could start just pulling out these rocks and structurally weakening it that way so people who weren't paying attention what is what's going on is these beings come here at night and stuff and they break away rock they break away our concrete they break away our asphalt they peel trees, they do things with trees, they have helped all this major amount of bloomage of leafing um, come into our existence in our area, our evergreens and everything, like a number of the evergreens you can see there's a lot of bl brown plumage in them and that's because they're putting them through cycles, they're, they go in there and they bend all the whatever, those ones end up falling, they end up marking and growing back new ones and stuff. They're an incredible species of something going on that uh, it's just incredible. So they'll even be working that concrete there. You can see how the rock is all away from it now though. Because that concrete you could tell was on the rock.